What's going on guys, it's King Tuts Pro back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your drone footage more cinematic for your vlogs, for your short films, whatever you guys are gonna be making this tutorial useful of, that is all up to you. Now, this video is sponsored by videoblocks.com. So to get started with your seven days of video blocks for free, be sure to visit the link videoblocks.com slash YouTube or go to the description down below where you can sign up as well and go to the same link. You guys have access to 3 million videos that are royalty free, of course, which is really cool. You can also get effects and backgrounds if you would like. So check them out, link in the description along with everything else that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this tutorial right now. Hopping onto Final Cut Pro 10, assuming you have all of your video and your music into uh, Final Cut Pro 10 already, all you have to do from here is just drag your videos. So I'm gonna drag this one first that I got from Video Blocks. All I did is I just looked up California or drone footage. They have a whole section for drone footage, which is absolutely perfect. This is where I got it. And they have some amazing clips that you guys can use that are royalty free so you guys can use them in your project. So this is the one I use, it's very nice. It's like a very, uh, like a time lapse or like a, sp a sped up video of the people kind of swimming in the pool there, which is really nice. It kind of makes up for this vlog type of feel. So that is a really great, a great way to start, assuming you have your drone footage already. This doesn't have to be drone footage, but I'm obviously gonna be working with that. So from here, all you have to do is add some effects. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and look up the effect called Letterbox, and Letterbox just gives you that the top and bottom black bars that makes the video very cinematic that you guys see in a lot of videos and short films and stuff like that. So when you add it, you're gonna have that very thin bezel. All you have to do is go into the inspector, go to the letterbox panel, and in the aspect ratio, change that to 30, 235 to one, and that will get you the standard letterbox uh, aspect ratio, which is what we want. Now, after we've done this, we wanna go ahead and add our color grading effects. Now, this is also completely free. Um, so I made a whole video on this, uh, you know, a whole, I made a whole video on this separately, so a link will be down in the description as well if you wanna watch that. But the effect is called Mlut, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the effects here and get rid of that. So it's called Mlut. Once you install it, it's for free, of course, but just drag that onto your clip there. And once you are there, you wanna make sure that the Mlut is beneath the letterbox, or else you're gonna be color and grading the letterbox as well, which is not what you want. So from there, click Show, and then you're gonna have a couple of settings here that you guys can change. Just go to the Mlut library, and then here it gives you a couple of things that you guys can use for your video to kind of to kind of color to kind of color grade and color correct your video. In this case, we're color uh, grading. We're not color correcting. We're not making changes to the video. We're just adding a filter, pretty much. So I, I normally the one I do is Cold War. It gives you that very summer vibe look, especially with the pool here. It just makes it really nice, and it gives you that kind of greenish. Uh, blue, kind of green, blue, orange feel to that video or that tone. So click OK. From here, you're gonna have this effect here, which is super nice. Here's the difference. You have the before and the after. Huge difference. You can already tell it looks very cinematic. Now, this is not gonna, you know, to complete the whole cinematic look, we need some good text or some good font. If you guys don't use the right fonts, this is gonna look really bad. Go to custom and drag that onto your video just like that. So a couple of fonts that I would recommend, my top five personally, is the bold font, bebas font, didot, didot font, and Helvetica font. Those are the best, in my opinion, looking fonts that will look good on cinematic films and short films and stuff like that, even vlogs. So I'm gonna go to the font here and I'm gonna change that to the bold font. So like that, and you guys can do anything you want. I'm just giving you as an example of what it looked like. So from here, you can change the size and everything. In this case, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, it's a little bit different from the beginning of the video, but it still, it still shows that nice, it gives you that vlog cinematic look, which is what I'm going for. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my music. This song will be down in the description. So let's see how that sounds like. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit more, maybe around here, right as there's a drop, I'm gonna enable that text there. So, all right, so I'm gonna drag this right here as you can see. Now, what I like to do is I like to add a marker so you can automatically just drag it and it snaps into place. So now if I push play, it should be exactly perfect. <laughs> and one right there as well. So that is where I want it to end. And then from here, all you have to do is just add your other video. So I'm gonna drag maybe this one here. I'm gonna drag this onto the next clip. So now I have this huge 
huge audio. I'm gonna just delete the rest of that because I don't need it. So this is just kind of like an intro kind of thing. So now after I do this, you can see how boring the video looks without color grading or letterbox or font. What I like to do, instead of having to redo everything, I like to copy the effects from my first clip. So just Command C and then Shift Command V to bring up the paste attributes. I want everything from here onto the next clip, click paste. And then now you will have that exact same look and feel to the video. All you have to do is just copy the text, move it over, and that's all you gotta do, honestly. So in this case, I'm gonna change this text to maybe California, like that. And that looks pretty good for, for the video right now. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. And the letterbox is already applied along with the color grade, so that looks good. So all the video here that you see has been downloaded from video blocks. So it's all royalty free and stock footage. So you can turn stock footage into something very cinematic. So as you can see, fonts or text can make a huge impact on your video as well as your quality of your content. A lot of people try to stay away from cinematic kind of looking vlogs. I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's really short and kind of straight to the point, but a lot of people really want to know how to do and how to get that cinematic look in your drone footage. So be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome, guys. Your support has been the best like in the past couple of videos. I don't I you guys are leaving me speechless here. So, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out. Take care and enjoy your day.